Gavin and I recently took a trip through the good old Midwest because we finally got to see the Killers in Concert, which is a band I've been wanting to see for 10 years. And if you're wondering why I didn't record much of the actual traveling bit is because we just drove like eight and a half hours through Missouri and Illinois. And uh, for those of you that have not been in the Midwest, this is about all you're getting with that drive. This is what most of Missouri looks like. We were greeted in St. Louis by an amazing 12-foot skeleton, and our mature asses wanted to take a selfie with this sticker we thought was hilarious. Gavin and I are stereotypical zillennials who love brunch, so we stopped at Rooster in St. Louis, and I know what you're thinking, but before you go and judge all these lovely roosters and chickens, the old art teacher in me really enjoys that kids painted these roosters for the rooster brunch place. Now, Gavin and I are foodies, and our main reason for vacation is to try new restaurants. So, as we all know, besties, the phone eats first. We usually never do that, but on vacation we did. And I know that you have the attention span of a fly, so let me give you the quick rundown. French toast, baller. Gavin sandwich, great. My vegan kitchen sink, Worst vegan meal I had on the trip, but we're moving on. After brunch, we stopped by a local cool vintage store. I dodged a bullet because the frames of these cool glasses blended in with my pale skin, but Gavin, he missed a good opportunity here. I mean, look how cool. I also got these really cute shorts at that thrift store that I later wore to the concert that evening, and look how cute this bathroom was where we went to eat dinner at, OMG. I know my fellow foodies wanna hear all about dinner, but you gotta be a little bit patient, bear with me. Right next to the thrift store was a really cool record store that Gavin and I stopped by. Gavin picked up a cool jazz vinyl. He loves jazz and I love that we started collecting vinyl together. He even built me my own little record holder entertainment set that we have in our living room at home. And even though we have one close to home, we had never been to an Ikea. Ikea was large and in charge and they know how to reel you in and it's hard to get out of that store. <laughs> like the green against the yellow rug. Mm-hmm. It legitimately took Gavin and I 20 minutes to find the exit because we didn't want to go through all the store. Yeah. <laughs> now it is what everyone has been waiting for, dinner. Why are you always smiling? Gavin and I went to a food court before the concert for dinner and let me tell you, this was one of our favorite meals on the trip. We would drive four hours to St. Louis again just for the Colby Taco Shack. Gavin tried boba for the first time and I think you could say he enjoyed it. We were sad that we weren't able to take our dinner with us because it was right before the concert, but we absolutely loved this meal. It was so good. Now for the real reason we stopped in St. Louis before heading to Chicago, my concert I've been looking forward to for 10 years. So the first opener was actually the bass guitarist for The Killers. Like he was the first opening act and he killed it. Hey everybody. Apparently Gavin and I have been living under a rock because the second act, the Lemon Twigs, Gavin and I absolutely fell in love with. It was scary to think that Gavin and I almost missed this concert. I bought tickets back in October of last year, and then I tried to access them the week of the concert, and it the link to my tickets were expired. So I had to like get a refund and buy tickets, which I still think is a little baloney. The new tickets got us closer to the stage, so it's a blessing in disguise. I was just crying the whole day beforehand since it wasn't guaranteed that Gavin and I were gonna get new concert tickets since the show was almost sold out. Thank you. 
This concert was so surreal. I personally had never seen Gavin smile at any other concert as much as he smiled at this one. We both had a blast and we are so grateful for this experience. We headed straight to Chicago after St. Louis, and this is the only photo that Gavin and I got in our St. Louis Airbnb. It was really quaint and cute, and I'll have to tell you guys the story about how we accidentally opened someone else's Airbnb when we were trying to get into ours because it wasn't specific. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. We're thankful for you watching. Make sure to hit that like button. Stay tuned for the next episode where Gavin and I do a little vlog on our Chicago weekend.